Hello developers. Today we are diving into exciting topic how to build your own Python summarizer powered by AI. The best part is no API key and no payment to third party services. Everything will run locally and affordably using powerful HFT library. Then what are you waiting for? Let's start it. Hi there, I'm Missy MK. Welcome to the channel. Get ready to explore exciting content, fresh ideas and a whole lot of fun right here every week. Whether you are here to learn, be inspired or just chill, you have come to the right place. So hit the like button, subscribe and let's dive in. A few moments later First thing we have to do is import the pipeline from the HFT library. The pipeline function makes it super easy to use powerful pre-trained AI models like summarization and translation many more. Next we create our summarizer using the pipeline. The task is summarization. So I mentioning that model called Distilbert CNN126. The model is trained on news article and gives a great short summaries. Next, the revision ID. Revision ID locks the version so future update won't unexpectedly change our result. Next, device is 0. Because of I am using a GPU, I give it as 0. If you are using a only CPU means you have to mention it as minus 1. Here I define the long paragraph which I want to summarize. And next, I pass the text to the summarizer with the maximum length of 50 and I mention the length, minimum length as 25. At the same time, I give do sample as false, which gives you a consistent and deterministic output every time. Next, I just label a print summary to know what's coming next in the console. Finally, we have to extract the result from the summarizer. Basically, the summarizer gives a list of results and I mention the zero to grab the first result only and print it in summary text. The result is clean and greatly summarized than I expected. Using the command line repeatedly can get boring. So now we are going to explore how to turn this into a graphical interface. First, we import some tickinter and their libraries for our GUI. 